Alright, welcome back to Sip the Talent Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and we always talk about building on plays. And so what I'm going to do today is bring you what I mean by building on plays and stacking plays. And this is an idea that I kind of got from, from Jose from Lunch Break High Take, who kind of told me to start putting uh, videos on my channel that would just stand the test of time. They'll be relevant today, tomorrow, next season, two seasons from now, three seasons from now, or whenever somebody just happens to be stumbling through YouTube and wanting a chance to see some good football. So I'm going to start with some basic plays and kind of show you how you can use the basic play to build up on more plays and have one play that looks the same, but it's totally different. Now let's start with the uh, basic jet sweep. I give you formation. Formation's going to stay the same, but the plays will be different. Basic jet sweep. So we'll give you this right here. I didn't have personnel, because I think that's what the Ravens will be in a lot of. So basic jet sweep. They'll run outside zone. He'll lead block that way. He'll block. He'll come in motion. He'll be handoff. So that's basic jet sweep. That'd be our base play. So nothing spectacular about that. We know what that is. It could be that could be flowers or anybody out of fast motion. I think we tried it with Keith Mitchell one time. It's you know basic play, trying to get on the edge with blockers and, and outflank people. Basic jet, basic jet sweep. All right. Now let's take that same concept and see how we can run it different ways. Tight end, lineman, quarterback, running back. Second play I put on, so you can fake the jet sweep and run inside zone. So, get this guy coming in motion. He'll take a counter step, and they'll just run inside zone backside. They'll run inside zone backside. You'll fake that, your counter step, come right off it and run inside zone. So you'll get your linebackers, you know, potentially flowing that way because of the, the motion. You'll fake the jet sweep. Then you'll have you'll have uh, what we call leverage for the in, for the uh, offensive line, because a lot of times when these guys come in motion, these guys up here, they bump over a gap, so they may bump over there, may bump over there, and now when you do that, you create a leverage for your inside zone run. So that's one way to, to build off of Jay Sweet. Let's go to another. Put our guys back up here. Center, guard, tackle, tight end, guard, tackle, quarterback, running back, slot guy. Counter bash, which is a play that we've run in the past that we know and love. But what, what happens on counter bash is you try, you got an option. And you're going to read whoever the end man on the line of scrimmage, whether he's here or here, it don't really matter. So first things first, we'll go through it step by step. Got this guy coming in motion, and it's going to be jet sweep for him. And so what's going to happen is, you read, just, just say that's the end man on the line. We're not going to block him. Tight end is going to arc up to the next level. That guy's going to block. This guy's blocking jet sweep regardless. Regardless of whatever goes on, he's going to block jet sweep regardless. And he's blocking first thing that show up. He's, he's going to be shuffle, shuffle, and they're going to read this guy right here. If he widens, down, 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 kick out, wrap. If this guy widens, the quarterback will shuffle, shuffle, plant his feet to the ground, and run the, the count. If this guy closes down and gets in the hip pocket of this puller, the quarterback just hands it off to this guy. And then they run jet sweep out there with him being a lead blocker, him lead blocking, and then you got your tight end arc. So that's counter badge. Which your jet sweep look? So that's three plays right there already off of that. All right. Let's come back with another look off of it. Again, we're just stacking off jet sweep. Stacking and building off jet sweep by the 11 person there. Tight end. Flanker. I mean, slot guy. Outside receiver, quarterback, running back. So the next way we look at it, we can do the fake jet sweep and run burps off of it. So again, you got your fake motion. And again, you want these guys, or you would hope that they would kind of move over to anticipate the jet sweep. These guys may bump over, may bump over. And then once you fake it and you'll slide with it, let him come up and block, release vertical, stutter, and go. And you can try to hit this guy before he gets to the safety back here. Because if you shuffle with that, they got to take their read steps. And 
if he can arc and get outside of him, you want to hit him right, right in that hole. You want to hit him before he gets to the safety, because if you wait too late and put air on him, then your safety got a kill shot. But you want to shuffle, shuffle with it, make them commit to the jet sweep, pull it out, throw a dart. Can't, can't have air on that ball. That's what that is right there. So you can go jet sweep with that. Jet sweep, now you can hit your verse on it. All right, another pass off of Another pass you can do is um, fake sweep and do scat. One of my favorite plays. Just got off the ball. One of my favorite plays, scat. Put him in motion. Let him come up and block. Send him into the flats. Slant stop. Corner wrap. And you have your post back side. You can do your dig, whatever you want to do back. You can do all kinds of stuff back here. But if you got what you got, one of my favorite concepts on this side. And again, whoever goes into motion with that flat wrap, you just sit down and show your numbers. That's your first read. They give you some kind of man look. You got your corner right there. But any other zone, you got this flat uh, slant style combination versus any kind of zone. And if they give you a man look, you got that corner route and you got whatever kind of release you got going backside, however you can tag it backside. And you got an extra block. But also, you could you could do this. We, you know, if you know what you got, you can put this guy on the other side and then you can run a swing over here and do the same thing backside. And you can have mirror routes. It's kind of up to the coordinator. No. So now let's get into a couple screens over the same loop. A couple screens off the same loop. To build our formation back. Tight in, guard tackle, slot, off the ball, quarterback, running back. Alright, so we can do a fake screen. Then you can do a slow screen to the back. Put him in motion. Make it look like Jesse Wheat. Art release, throw block. 1,001, 1,000, I'm sorry, 1,001, 1,002, release out, release out. He can step up like he was blocking in, get behind that slow screen, and they go on out. Just like that. And they'll come in motion again. You get leverage with the jet sweep. You hope to get guys going that way with the jet sweep. You fake it, let your back come up in the line and hide, and then release out. You can also kick back and release the center too. It depends on how many people you want to release. Normally, the first man on the first man that releases is going flat. Next one is going to try to hit the alley, and the third person is trying to get trash. And trash is, you're coming out, you just turn it back, trying to pick up whoever's trying to flow through. So it's really flat alley trash. And a lot of people label this play, any kind of screen, it's labeled flat a lot. Flat alley trash. A lot of times, on the high school level. I don't know about the pro level, but it's easier for the kids to pick it up when you put acronyms to it. Alright, and lastly, we'll end with another screen. One of the Screens I really like. Build our formation back. Alright, seeing this guy in motion again, you faking the jet sweep. Everybody's blocking like it's jet sweep, jet sweep. Throwing them by and they going straight up. Throwing them by, going straight up. And your tight end just float, folds behind for a middle screen. So you're a fake jet sweep. Get your, your, your um, what we call your, your um, what's the terminology? Your screen steps where you kind of invite the guys back once the linemen let them go and hit that tight end right behind them and let him get, let him get up the field. And this way, all five linemen are in the screen. All five linemen are in the screen. I mean, you got a tight end screen, especially if you got a mobile tight end like a Likely or E. Kelsey or any of those tight ends that are really just big receivers. So this is just different ways you can stack plays and build plays. And I appreciate Jose for giving me the idea to put videos on the channel that just can be there. There's no specific timetable or how long they're relevant. Uh, this is Coach Evans with Sip the Tyler Films. I appreciate you guys for coming out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll see y'all soon.